one of my subscribers actually said why don't I try an old ball so I decided I'm gonna try this Nike resin platinum I had in the basement probably for several years resin platinum mid spin control for moderate swing speeds so uh, I'm a little bit slower than moderate maybe but let's give it a try Five holes to go, just play 13. Need to palm away, yeah. Gotta hit more greens. That ball felt pretty good, and it flew pretty good. Should be in the fairway close to the middle. Let's go after it. Let's see how this ball performs. Play a couple holes. All right, guys. I got 110 to the center. It's like 99 to the front of the green. Pin's only a few yards on, so I'm gonna say this is about a 104 yard shot. I'm gonna go with 48 degree wedge. I did a video recently on clean grooves versus clean grooves versus dirty grooves, so always make sure to clean your grooves. If you haven't seen that video, check it out. Clean grooves, dirty grooves, and also old wedge versus new wedge. Okay, I uh, hit it. A little longer than I want it, but we got a putt at it, and the snaky ball feels feels pretty good. Uh, that cover feels pretty soft and pretty playable, even after sitting in the basement for I don't even know how long Nike's been out of out of the ball business. I have to look that up. All right, guys, looks like I got about 20 feet here, and I think it'd be perfectly fitting if I made finally made birdie on one of these ball videos outside of the short par four, which I don't count, with a ball that has not been in play for years. See if we can make the putt. I also feel like it's worth noting that the ball only released maybe four or five feet. Not bad. resin platinum it's not a bad ball ready to go to 14 we'll play that hole from pins in the back let's play this we're gonna play this par 3 from 185 all right guys it's kind of blind up there so you can't see the can't see the putting surface 185 to the pin I'm gonna go with a 5 hybrid and it all just depends on how firm that ground is which you kind of never really know in this hole Okay guys, I just hit the best five hybrid that I can hit. And the way it fell out of the sky, it looked like it was short. Not really sure if that's the ball or if that was me. Uh, or I could be wrong and it could be close to the pin. I don't know, but it look, I feel like it's short. Let's get up there and see. All right there guys, it looks like the ball is about as short as I expected it was. Looks like it released about, ball released about 18 feet not bad because it's kind of on a downhill slope there and I've got another 20 25 feet for the hole from the hole so overall I can't really say that that was the ball falling out of the sky but uh, let's try to make a putt and then we'll go in and look and look at the numbers and compare this to a premium ball of today
All right, there, guys. So far, this Nike ball, resin platinum, doesn't play bad. I can't really tell that, hey, that this ball hasn't been around for five plus years, however long it's been. Um, I don't see any diminishing quality on the two holes I just played. Yeah, it seems like it flew the way it was supposed to. So let's go inside, look at some numbers, and I'll get back to you on uh, on how this ball performs. All right, guys, with the Nike Resin Platinum and the Pro V1 as a comparison from 50 yards, the launch was a little higher with the Platinum, but it had uh, about 500 RPMs less spin. Ball speeds were similar with the 7-iron. Again, the platinum, platinum launched a little higher. RPMs of spin was a couple hundred less than the Pro-V. Uh, everything else was about the same. Had a yard more rollout due to the, the lack of spin. With the driver, the Platinum launched just a tad higher than the Pro-V. Uh, spins were pretty much similar. Um, descent, peak height, carry, total distance, all the other numbers were were spot on with the Pro V1. You know, one thing I'll say about this Platinum Ball is that it did feel pretty darn soft. I think Nike had that, uh, that used to have that resin black ball that was firmer than the, uh, than the Platinum. But this ball felt pretty good. So guys, if you really like this Nike ball, if you used to play Nike and you wonder what happened to them, I recently found this company Resin Golf, RZNGolf.com, and in researching it, it seems to be the company that had a hand in designing that Nike ball. So here's a company, and they've got about six different models of ball, and if you read about it, it really looks like it's a, a very similar to the ball that I was just hitting in this test. Normally, I think the Tour model comes in at $39.95, and it looks like they've got a $10 off deal there uh, for $29.95. So, might be a, something that's worth a shot if you're interested in that Nike ball. Um, I've never tried that company. I may pick up a dozen and test them out and see how they compare. All right guys, if you wanna see the cheapest ball I've ever tested, click the video above. If you like the video, like, comment, subscribe. Until next time, Mr. Short Hitter, out. My games are seen now, hooks and big fades, it's not my day now, why did I play now? Just clear my head, get back in this, an outside shot, you still can win this.